Hi, my name is Dr. Jada Goodson and I am the pelvic health physical therapist at our East Norrington location. Today I would like to review the term incontinence. I feel like there's a common misconception of what incontinence is and what it isn't. By definition, incontinence is the lack of voluntary control of urination or defecation. So essentially it's when you poop or pee without having control of stopping it or starting it. Um, I often have patients who come in and say, oh, I pee when I sneeze or I pee when I laugh and cough, but I'm not incontinent. And by definition, yes, unfortunately you are incontinent. Um, but here in pelvic floor PT, that is something that we work on. So whether you lose a little bit of urine or a lot of urine, that is still incontinent. Um, whether you, you lose full control of pooping or a little bit of control of pooping that is still incontinence. Um, there are different types of incontinence, such as stress incontinence, which is when you um, laugh, cough, sneeze, run or jump, and some urine or some poop might come out. There is urge incontinence, when you feel the urge to pee and you have to go so bad, it just hits you and you end up wetting your pants a little bit that is urge incontinence. There is functional incontinence when you have to go pee so bad, um, but you're having trouble with undoing your belt or undoing your button or your pants, and then you end up wetting your pants a little bit. That is functional incontinence. There's also mixed incontinence where um, these things may happen where you have the urge to pee, and you have to go so bad, but then you also have trouble undoing your pants, or your skirt, whatever it is, and then you end up wetting your pants a little bit. So I hope this helps clear up some misconceptions of what incontinence is and what it is not. Um, this is something that you do not have to be embarrassed by or something that you have to deal with forever. If you come to Pelvic Floor PT, it's something that we can work on and um, hopefully stop the incontinence. And it doesn't matter what age you are either. I wanted to clarify that as well. There are uh, people in their 20s who experience incontinence as well as people in their 60s, 70s, 80s. And it, just because you are a little older does not mean that incontinence is normal. Might be common, but it is not normal. I hope this helps. Bye.